Now, to find out how acidic we are, we can measure our pH levels. It's quite an easy process. A simple urine and saliva testing protocol is advised in order to help you monitor and maintain good biochemistry of your body. And you can buy pH te test strips from us at the clinic or any good health food shop and they come with their own sort of like guide, their little chart and if you call or email us we can send you the document relating which relates to this all about the fourth law. So urine testing, testing your own urine can actually tell you how acidic your waste urine is as a marker of kidney and bladder function. The body's buffering system is reflected in those numbers. So acidic terrains will want more alkaline minerals when the body consumes those alkaline minerals. The result is a progressive alkalinization of the actual urine. Perfect urine pH is in the range of around 6 to 6.5. Saliva testing, which is over here, is a measurement of how effective the digestive system is, saliva and digestion. Yeah. The optimal pH of the saliva should be around 6.5 to 7, it's a little bit higher. And in this zone, the guts work really, really well with regular bowel movements. The saliva in biological terms reflects the overall function of the liver, the pancreas, and the digestive enzymes. So saliva represents our digestive organs, whereas the urine system, measuring urine, represents your kidney function function and your bladder function. How well do you get rid of your toxins? Now there are several factors that can imbalance your pH levels and we're going to talk about this in, in, in a little bit of detail because you, ha you must become aware of, of some of these factors, namely dehydration. Now dehydration caused by excessive caffeine and cigarettes, alcohol and sugar and junk food, this can all increase the acid concentration. Heavy metal poisoning from one's own dental mercury teeth amalgams. This can also, or, or from fish, a heavy consumption of fish and sushi, this can also cause the loss of friendly bacteria from the gut and enable then yeast to thrive and overgrow. Living or working in a toxic environment like a petrol station or maybe something like a, like a photographic lab, interaction with hard chemicals, having chemotherapy, being exposed to pesticides and insecticides, and also negative self-dialogue. People with low self-esteem and poor self-control will also suffer from a very acidic terrain. Now there are five key things that you must do in order to gain better pH balance and allow your body to really heal. And what it is, of course, it's a quick summary. Of course, you have to eat the right glycemic index food. The low GI is best, of course, you know why, because high sugars turn quickly into, into an acid. They, they create the terrain and make it become a very, very acidic. And of course, this degenerates the tissues. Number two is eat the right amount and type of protein according to your blood type. We know about these lessons already, so I hope you're applying all of those for a really robust immune system. Proteins, as you know, break down into amino acids, and so only eat 20 to 30% protein if you have acidity issues. Um, and of course thirdly is basically balance your hormones. Uh, the thyroid and the adrenals need to be looked at because this is how we burn fat and maintain good energy. Stresses, unfortunately, emotional stresses and dietary stresses can cause acidity to build up as our metabolism slow, slows down. And parasites, by the way, can also cause a lot of acidity too. Parasite infections, that can really stress out the adrenals. Also, number four, is eat plenty of nutritious organic vegetables, lettuce, herbs, and soups. The diet should consist of around 70 to 80 percent alkaline foods, you know, mainly from vegetables. And if you can make them raw, then that's even better still because that'll really alkalize the body. And so, what it really is, is that you're using your foods to really balance up the pH by choosing your vegetables well. Number five, of course, is the, the fifth law, which we're going to be talking about next week, which is meditate. Pray, forgive, forgive people. You know, it's very, very important to forgive. You know, that decreases the stress. Let love, let go. Very, very important, you know, so that your stress levels, your cortisol levels go down. Tune into your higher self, you know. That's another way you can do it. Uh, you can follow a homeopathic program and you can practice living life with an open heart and mind knowing that the key to life is that, is to understand that we are all constantly in flux. We're all growing. We're all changing. We're changing every moment from birth until death. And what, what's amazing about humans is that we really have this amazing intelligence to basically shift 
our changes towards betterment so we can shift our diet we can change our diet so that we basically become healthier and healthier so acknowledge your higher source uh, be scientific and and give the attitude of gratitude when you start restoring your inner health and you will feel so vibrant and healthy on this program as thousands of my patients have witnessed now in summary to reverse a negative trend in the ph one can do five things immediately you know so it's kind of like a so if you detect it on your ph strip chart you know that something's going wrong well first and foremost very very important point here is check the ph of the second urine of the day okay that's very very important don't do the first the first is just the acid waste just coming out the second urine is what really represents your true body's acid ph as it were so and also you must do this until you really understand the the the, the pattern of the body's chemistry so you can start to chart it now in each situation the quality of water that you're consuming while you're on this program is extremely important so no no sort of like municipal tap water it must be filtered it must be pure i personally recommend a reverse osmosis water unit and it produces a very very pure and clean water and one can purchase reverse osmosis water units from you know general stores or better still you know you can um, plumb in your own I, I, it's up to you but just clean up your water it's really really important our bodies are made of 65 70 percent water the amount of water should be guided by the person's weight divide your weight in pounds by two and this is the equivalent in ounces and you should be drinking each day if the person is more active uh, then more water may be needed um, study the pH chart very carefully you know this is going to be available on our website so look out for it and if not if it's not on there then just email us and we'll gladly send it to you it's a really really handy tool this and this this litmus paper and this chart really works really well now for urine 2 work out which calcium supplements which are really really important to basically return the pH back into the optimal zone and they're listed here those are your some of your options you can also choose foods as well which is really cool now look on the list to see which foods and therapies would be best to bring one back to the optimal zone for saliva you really want to try to find the balance between the acidophilus and the essential fatty acids essential fatty acids will drop the saliva acidophilus will basically make it more alkaline these two items are good at balancing each other out and a small amount of both every day helps to keep the body in the right saliva pH zone and so you always know basically because if someone's too alkaline on their saliva they're going to go into a constipation stage and if someone is too acidic then they're going to go into a soft stool or diarrhea stage and 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 that's kind of key because there's a lot of people who suffer from constipation and they're just too alkaline and there's a lot of people who suffer from loose stools and IBS issues and they're just too acidic and you know you, you guys have a lot of control about can, you know making sure where does your balance lie because this is the fourth law and it's really really important to have the right amount of minerals within the body and if you can achieve that then your body's well on the way to really making that fifth law work really well because the fifth law is about based on electricity or the electromagnetic dimension and this is where we really start to go into the spiritual dimension and the the the, the feeling of being really alive and having that wonderful crystally sensation that you're just electric and that is real inner health that you just you just have to strive for and when you achieve it you know it you'll feel it and everybody will comment onto you how amazing you're looking how much younger you're looking and how much energy you have so get the minerals right balance your ph and then that sets you up for the fifth law which we're going to talk about next week so thanks for listening it's been a really really good sort of lesson today and i hope you've grasped the litmus paper and the ph chart and um yeah tune into next week's show and uh Hope to teach you more about how your body can work better. So reach out and grab the health you need to feel in order to believe. Bye for now.